You might have heard about AI Assistant before, our AI plugin for IntelliJ IDEA and other JetBrains IDEs. Just recently, we launched a pretty big update to AI Assistant, and I want to walk you through how to use it in IntelliJ IDEA so that you can be productive from day one. Let's take a look and start with local AI completion. IntelliJ IDEA ships with local AI models out of the box. They are free, they are local and fully offline, and they are great at code completion. I feel that the more I use them, the more they feel like IntelliJ IDEA's built-in auto-completions, but with even more insights and more advanced capabilities. And like I said, you don't have to do anything to get access to those models. They are built-in and free in IntelliJ IDEA. And then there is cloud completion, which uses AI models in the cloud and can do even more. You have to enable that by clicking the AI Assistant panel on the right and choose to install the plugin. If you ever need to deep dive into those AI Assistant settings, you can go to Settings, Tools, AI Assistant and configure it there. You can also disable it entirely if you want to via the plugin settings. Once the plugin is enabled and you have logged in with your JetBrains account, you will have a bunch of features in the AI Assistant panel. There is a chat which you can use to ask questions. You can attach files, commits, and other information to fine-tune your prompts. You can build your own prompts library, choose which AI models you want to use. You can even plug in your own local models if you want to. There is a web search available via the slash web command. And finally, there is mode selector. This is a pretty important one. We'll take a look closer in a second. I have mentioned this before. One of the most impactful features of AI Assistant is code completion powered by Melum, our in-house large language model specifically trained for code. AI Assistant will suggest the single line completions or the whole blobs of code, depending on what you already have in the file. Or you can also use the built-in actions for the specific tasks like generating unit tests or generating documentation. Now let's take a closer look at the mode selector. By default, AI Assistant will be in the chat mode, which means that you can ask general programming questions. In the chat mode, AI Assistant will not use any context-related data unless the code base button is toggled on. Then there is our new edit mode, currently in beta. In this mode, you can ask AI Assistant to make changes across multiple files. An important difference between the edit mode and an AI agent like JetBrains Juni is that with edit mode, you will always have to review every change. It feels very similar to how you would refactor the code. The good thing is that reviewing these changes should be pretty easy with the built-in diff viewer in IntelliJ IDEA. Let's talk about the context as well. The more context our AI models have, the more accurate the results they can provide. In the edit mode, we will do our best to determine which files should be attached automatically. In chat mode, you can fine tune your context manually. I have already shown you how to manually attach files and commits, but you can also attach window panels, symbols, or even database references. All of this information will help AI Assistant to provide better answers. And not just that, but AI Assistant also gives you fine-grained control over the generated code. Like, for example, the ability to review the code before adding it to your code base. So that is an overview of our updated AI Assistant. But in my experience, the best way to truly learn its power is to actually use it. AI completion is free to use in IntelliJ IDEA, and you will get limited access to other AI features for free as well. You can read all about pricing on the page linked in the description so that you can start with AI Assistant today. Enjoy.